Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. No assignment. The first miracle this afternoon is the prayer to say, Lord, it is clear that the how has not yet come. The stagnancy in my life, the confusion in my life, it is clear that the how, I know that you have called me and I love you. But could it be that I have ignored the ministry of this Lord of the harvest, the spirit of grace? The Holy Spirit changed my life. He's revealed the how per time, per season. I remember when my time in Zaria was wrapping up. I started having these these promptings of the spirit because you see the way God works with me the month of June September and December are prophetic months I have worked with God in, enough to know you must discern the seasons where his voice comes prophetically his voice can speak every day but know when the waters are about to be stirred that has it is through your consistency of staying with God every time June September, December, I'm not careless with those months. He's at liberty to use any time, but by my dealings with him, it's not a doctrine, it's a personalized dealing. That this is how God has chosen to walk with me. Do you know the season where he speaks? He's not always speaking, no, he speaks. The Bible will tell you the 10th month and the fourth day, the word of the Lord came. I began to sense it in my heart I said Lord in truth I would tell you I didn't know whether it was Abuja or somewhere I just knew that it was time to expand the work and to do all of this for three years I struggled with the Lord praying and praying let me tell you something with God you don't pray until you are tired you don't pray until you are tired you pray until how comes I remember I took the time praying and praying and here's what happened I will tell you it's it's a miracle do you know when I finally left Zaria it was unplanned for I went to South Africa for a meeting returned back for a meeting in Lagos and then I now had to rush back to UK where the last people who left London before they shut down for the pandemic so I returned back to Abuja rushing to do the miracle service in Zaria when they announced that there has been shut down, locked down for the next three months. That's how my how came up. That I was there and I said now, just did a video to tell them, okay, I love you people and um, there's, there's lockdown and so everybody and I used that time to begin to pray and the Lord said the season has come. I said, God, where again? What is all this? Whether it was Abuja or Jos or anywhere, I would be the last person to want to be in Abuja. Believe me, I love Abuja, wonderful place, but I just said, no, 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 I'm not sure I'm ready. Maybe let me go somewhere else. And I remember one day, see, it is a difficult thing to live in the silence of God. When God is silent, keep praying. Don't assume a voice that is not there. Satan is a master at speaking in the silence of God so that you will think he's the one. 
but prayer can filter it prayer can always cause the viper that is hiding in the wood to come out so prayer is a tool for discerning error if you hear and you are not sure stay and hear again once have i spoken god is not at he, he, he can allow you to hear even if it's five times provided you end up letting you know that all power belongs to god i took out time praying praying and through one or two prophetic confirmations that came from great men of god and then something happened one night i remember the lord now gave me an instruction he said buy the map of abuja the map of nigeria the map of africa and the map of the globe lord this is not what i'm asking you for clarify i'm grateful for that one i sent immediately they brought the map i began to pray intensely praying on those things and then the final confirmation came i had set my i was not even praying just enjoying worship and as i placed my head i just saw the vision the map of abuja this when you are coming towards that stadium side i still don't know even the names of this this you know and i saw that that map like the city gate that's why you see the poster that introduced this i said look for that gate and replicate it immediately i saw it i said this is that lord grand grace the how had come i didn't care what else was not there the one who brought the how is responsible enough the path of a spiritual man is a very strange path there will be many seasons of unimagined silence in your life never mistaken your tarrying for delay there is a difference between delay and tarrying both of them are the same physical activities but sponsored by different spirits delay is sponsored by a demon spirit the intention is to destroy you and to allow time cheat you tarrying is an advantage so that you will be able to piece together the intelligence and the resources you need and after that tarrying you will quantum leap into dimensions that you never imagined i can tell you this let me show you this in the life of jesus from age 12 we do not hear about jesus again until age 30. what was happening from that time john the baptist remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing moses remained in the wilderness for 40 days tarrying is an art of victory don't ever misunderstand it when god calls a solemn assembly and tells the people tarry you are in sync with how god works hear me people of god from january up until now you have been praying and fasting i do not know the level of spiritual discipline you may have see it's easy to pray and fast maybe when you are a student or a younger person because whether you were fasting or not you almost be the same thing in terms of food to eat you may like most likely be once a day anyway is that true the trouble on your head by reason of limitations will force you to the altar so it was very easy very very easy when there's no school fees there's no house rent there's no whatever you don't need any ginger of an attack or whatever the trouble in itself is self-motivating you can pray until you fish out solutions from the realm of the spirit but now when you have many responsibilities it is a greater demand and a greater sacrifice and you have endured this to pray to fast I have seen the benefit of waiting upon the Lord I have seen the benefit of waiting until the how comes no matter how long wait till you get the how did you hear what I said your pastor has waited Jesus was waiting when they were ahead of him six hours ahead of him those with the boat they had gone whereas he was praying you would call it delay but he got up immediately and started walking on water and within a short time he had caught up with those who went and to the point that they looked at him and said if it be thou bid me come and he said come 
and Peter also started walking on water listen to me we are going to pray you are wrapping up your time of prayer and fasting but I'm here to join faith with your man of God to instill this as a spiritual culture more than just the end of a program if you end it as a program you've aborted a powerful strategy for victory in your life every time God sends you call the Lord of the harvest and say father I am prepared but I cannot go until the how comes you will know that how you will know that the how has come because both the instruction and the anointing will come the instruction and the anointing hallelujah the instruction and the anointing for some of you your witness is in the area of your career right now but it is not supernatural because the how has not been given you are still working with Sophia human wisdom I am a banker buying and selling that is wonderful unless and until you obtain the wisdom that comes from above and now add it you will see the wonder working power of the spirit Nigeria is in a very trying moment right now even politically and as always there are many opinions coming from everywhere but believers must pray rather than making a lot of noise we need to pray first we are going to act but acting without prayer will only recycle pain because we will judge by the flesh we this we, we should use this same formula nationally Lord we do not trust ourselves we are inconsistent in our minds and our hearts and frail and limited but we depend on the Lord of the harvest send us our how and when it comes with bending determination bending determination God will enthrone himself we are not the first to be in this situation some of you right now you are in a financial situation don't just get up and say I'm in a financial situation I need is, is, is business strategy I listen to a business uh, um, um, uh, uh, what do you call it seminar and he just said just do this I agree and I respect what you heard but in this world of spiritual triumph ignore the Lord of the harvest and recycle pain ignore the Lord of the harvest and recycle negative seasons in your life but you can come to the how and sometimes it can be a ridiculous instruction you are a businessman and things have gone down but the Lord is going to give you an instruction and say take a sacrifice and bring it to the life of your man of God I reject this voice how can you come and meet me and say I should do this listen not every pain destroys when a doctor meets a patient who is almost dying the doctor will bring out a syringe and add to the patient who is already crying why will you add pain to somebody in pain in that pain there is a chemical that will flow through that injection into that person and it will begin to bring healing so you will see a, a, somebody who is in the hospital almost as if he's dying and yet the doctor with a heart full of compassion it will be through the channel of that pain and that sacrifice it can happen many times and yet recovery happens mysteriously not every pain is from the devil there is pain as a gift that announces the change of seasons sometimes the pain of carrying Isaac is the pain that makes you the father of nations you must learn to discern and interpret pain when you give a patient injection the goal is not to destroy that patient but sometimes you can take five doses a miracle service on Sunday a woman came who had a, a spine one problem and she said she's had over 200 and something injections I couldn't believe it will I stand to allow anybody inject me like that 200 and something what part of my body will be left 200 and something injections how many veins are in my body for some of you you are in a season right now where it looks like spiritually you are in ICU and you said Lord come and he brought you through the pain of fasting and you are saying but Lord is this how you help people to fast and pray can't you just give me money 
what is it about money you cannot give me is it my rent or my house why are you what is this thing just bless me directly where are the fishes that have coin in their prophetic you know and god is saying just go through that the pain of fasting is like that spiritual dosage you've been receiving from january to february to march to april to may now to june you will step out of this place and see a burst of vitality within your spirit that after your prayer and fasting someone will call you and say since january i've been looking for you you will now know it's not a demon that kept him god kept him up for you because you would have misused that money misused that opportunity because your spirit was not even sensitive the devil would have led you to make wrong decisions and you would have been in trouble the lord instructed that i should give you a house in my tama i don't know you but i will obey god and you will hold it and say it's a lie god said what is it about a lie what what is it that is i can't i do it and just while you are saying that somebody packs a car in front of your house and just when you wake up and allow to wake you up that you will report yourself to the police and say i'm reporting myself now so that nobody will say i stole money and then god will now tell you i had the power to do this but my interest is your heart not the things i know what i'm saying the way of the spiritual man is mysterious matthew chapter john chapter 3 and verse 8 3 and verse 8 the wind bloweth where it listeth and thou hearest the sound thereof thou cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth so is everyone born of the spirit the way of the spiritual man you can't create a natural sequence to it there are times you will see him mysteriously rushing and there are times you will see him waiting and that wait can be one year two years and you are wondering what is it about your life and why the silence then God will bring 10 years in one month and put for you even so come Yeshua come even so Come and take your bride away How my soul longs to see your face My love, even so Even so Come Yeshua, come We're calling the Lord of the harvest We need him like never before even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my Lord. Even so. of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon the Lord listen my first encounter with the power of God please sit down I used to go every night and just pray and just pray and return back every night and just pray and return back every night and just pray i used to watch benny Hinn that time 
and I would see this man come to minister and just stand and people are rising from wheelchairs the power of God it was like a mirage I said how could a man host God to this dimension I had the privilege to have some old CDs of generals and people and I would listen and watch them and say my goodness what is this such spectacular display of the investment of the spirit upon a man I continued every day I did not know that every day and every time of prayer was like a spiritual register you were signing because if the cloud be full of rain rain does not happen until there is sufficient evaporation and condensation biology teaches us that one night I remember clearly there was a dear lady I was praying and there were other people who used to pray then we used to call it lawn tennis court then in Zari and ABU there and then a lady came and this lady came to I don't know what brought her to seek counsel for something I don't know I can't even remember the lady and I remember I just stood in front of her and my hands began to shake I had barely lift I, I just lifted my hands and this lady was like a pack of card on the ground I was almost afraid I said, I hope this lady did not enjoy herself the way she felt as though she was dead. She got up again and then I started seeing spectacular manifestations of the Spirit of God. I said, this is the same thing I saw happen to people. And then I remember that the same Lord is rich unto all. That if you will pay the price of alignment, obtaining grace from the Spirit to walk in keeping with the conditions that make for power, nothing then robs you from carrying genuine authentic spiritual power you can walk with God to a point where he will give you the keys of nations and give you the keys of territories that you can command dominion over nations and territories you will not look like it except that it was given that you will speak and kings will respond because the word of the Lord is upon your lips let me tell you prayer is powerful in preparing you to be an effective witness today I thank God for the privilege of the preparation and compared to where I'm going he's still preparing me and I'm grateful and I have obtained grace to remain and to stay until we are built and furnished for that harvest can I tell you in our lifetime we will see nations saved in one day because there will be such spectacular demonstrations of our weakness the Lord himself will move upon us and move through us and move in us and bring nations at a standstill did that not happen to Joshua in the Bible do not belittle yourself there are people in this end time who will carry wealth equivalent to GDP of nations and by that wealth they will bring nations to their feet in one day but the training of every witness is intrinsically the same but we will give ourselves continually at chapter 6 and verse 4 to the word and the ministry of the word and prayer no matter what you are called to do called to be you cannot do it without submitting yourself methodically to the ministry of the word and to prayer Pray without ceasing to immerse yourself in the word in fellowship and in partnership with this Lord of the harvest as he reveals your how per season per moment per level the reason why we are bold to do and say the things that God is doing through us is because we receive the how there is no fear Moses if he told you how he already told Moses Pharaoh will harden his heart so when Pharaoh was acting like a beast Moses was not surprised he didn't leave disappointed it was part of the how but by a great and mighty hand in one day he brought the nation of Israel something that 430 years of captivity and murmuring and complaining could not do one day 
do you believe God can use you that much do you believe God can walk with you that much do you believe God can trust you with the grace and the anointing for nations and territories you don't have to be a preacher alone some of you here my dear worship people God can give you one song that becomes a revival anthem for nations a song you did not compose a song that came through the place of prayer most of the songs you hear me sing I'm not a musician no. you should know that by now but there is a way you can release your spirit and in the realm of the spirit you will tap through spiritual frequencies and bring songs that don't die because they were not they were not framed from this realm holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our these are some of the spiritual songs that come from the place of the spirit lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high let me tell you how this song came i was caught up in the realm of the spirit one time and i was hearing the angelic choir singing this song that's how i came with it I didn't write it. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most hear me we're going to pray let me find somewhere to wrap up I already begin I'm beginning to sense a very strong anointing here so we'll find somewhere to pray the end time army has a three formation strategy the end time army has a three formation strategy number one the first formation of the end time army is the emergence of prophetic intercessors write it down the first strategy for the end time army is a sudden emergence from every church every region every nation of ordinary people like pastor was saying some of them uneducated some of them inexposed but men and women who have found grace with god an emergence of prophetic intercessors ezekiel chapter 22 from verse 30 and 31 30 and 30 i sought for a man among them that he should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it but i found none verse 31 therefore i have poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have i recompensed upon their head saith the lord i sought for a man there are men who single-handedly will carry the spiritual burden of nations and literally manipulate the events of nations to line up with divine prophecy from their room you don't have to sit on the throne to be a king there are many people sitting on thrones today that are not in power. Prophetic intercessors. You will see an emergence from your church, prayer groups, prayer camps, women of prayer, prophetic intercessors, those who will even get born again late and you will think God cannot do anything much with them until you see mama at 80 praying for eight hours generating energy from the bowels of our spirit this is the first formation 
of this end time army. Right for reference, Isaiah 52 from verse 1 and 7, 1 to 7. Isaiah 52, 1 to 7. The emergence of prophetic intercessors. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Oh, beautiful garments, you know, Jerusalem and all of that. So you read it. We're not going to read it for time's sake. But that God himself is planting, he's raising prophetic intercessors. And let me tell you, some of you, the reason why God drew you to participate in this prayer and fasting program is to help you reveal your ministry to you. Some of you did not even know that you were called into the ministry of prophetic intercession where God will answer you by saying Libya and you will hear from him for the next three months that becomes your prayer project every night and suddenly you hear that there is such a move of the spirit happening in Libya most people do not understand intercession let me tell you the life of an intercession is a strange life ask Anna the prophetess in fact out of all the ministries of Jesus the one he still kept today is the ministry of the intercessor that he's still seated at the right hand of the father and still making intercession for the saints the moment intercession is in place there is no limit to what the Holy Spirit can do there is no limit you think the Holy Spirit cannot save people you begin to intercede you think the Holy Spirit cannot invade nations begin to intercede pray ye that you will send the Lord of the harvest that is the first formation pray don't assume the Lord of the harvest has come pray pray number two the second formation of this end time army are the ones I call the sent ones the sent ones the sent ones the sent ones Matthew 10 16 the sent ones behold I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves therefore because you are sheep in the midst of wolves he says be wise as serpents and harmless as doves this is the only place in scripture where we see God recommending that you study a serpent as a strategy for survival a serpent has always been an animal or a creature that is 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 laden with deception every time you hear serpent it always connotes satan or evil but it says now i'm releasing you into the cosmos because you are sheep among wolves i hope you know that a sheep does not have a horn the only means of defense is the wisdom it gets from the shepherd other animals can fight but the sheep cannot fight if it ignores the wisdom and the instruction of the shepherd a sheep's security is in the ministry of the shepherd while shepherds watch their flocks by night so every time it is night the flock must depend on the shepherd to watch them it is night time right now in our world every sheep must listen to their shepherds the chief shepherd is willing to watch his flock by night I send you a sheep among wolves how does a sheep stay in the midst of wolves have you ever seen watch National Geographic natural wild and you will see that any time a, a sheep is a universal prey for any wild beast is that true whether lion leopard hyena cheetah whatever the moment they see a sheep there are some animals allergic to others they don't eat them but not a sheep a sheep is a choice delicacy for any any wolf or whatever it is and he says i send you a sheep that means if a wolf sees you no negotiation no destruction no discussion the assignment is to steal to kill and to destroy he says therefore be as wise as serpents do you know what this means this is now the balance because i just mentioned prophetic intercessors they don't need wisdom they just need diligence to stay with the spirit and pray but if you find yourself among the sent ones you will need more than prayer 
you will now need to borrow the concepts from cosmos that is what it means to be as wise as a serpent that means don't be like the serpent but you can borrow the formula and the strategy you are a businessman you have prayed but don't it is not a crime to listen to warren buffett you are borrowing the strategy they are unbelievers but there are principles they have that make things work in the cosmos it says be wise as the serpent that means you have to interact with them you may need to study their materials you may need to submit to mentorship under their wisdom and their schools however remember you are a sheep you are only borrowing from a serpent for efficiency are you getting the point now now this is where this second group of people have missed it a lot there are many Christians failing in business inefficient as far as their duties are concerned and their excuse is spirituality there are many people who will come and tell you God called me to be a great CEO they know nothing about finances leadership administration excellence they have not learned Jesus himself preparing to be sent forth went to the temple to study things that he was coming to abolish and bring to an end so why did he study it then there are people by reason of this teaching you may need to go and get further certifications to prepare you to be efficient there are people by reason of this teaching you may need to go and subscribe to secular mentorship under very intelligent people with proven records that is why first things first god deals with you to prepare your heart so that even when you are there among wolves you are not corrupted not by their language not their way of life if you are daniel how will you reign if you ignore babylon if you are joseph how will you reign if you run away from Pharaoh because they worship the god of egypt so many believers do not understand relational principles and you will be in an environment where you are the only child of god in the if you have to mention jesus to demonstrate the life of christ you are not a true christian there is a dimension of your life that can reflect Jesus even without you saying it. Be wise as serpents. Imagine a sheep goes somewhere and stands in the midst of wolves and say, I am a, a sheep. I don't care. I believe that. I, I won't tell lies. I can't tell these lies. What happens to him? He would die not because the shepherd is not strong. He ignored the advice of the shepherd. He says, be wise as there are many things about a serpent to learn the first is that all animals when they kill their when they kill their prey they still leave traces and evidences but a serpent swallows the digestion happens inside so you do not even know what it ate until you catch it at that point and then where it kills is different from where it eats these are all strategies to learn a serpent will sting and be patient and the animal will run somewhere in the bush then it will go and quietly eat it alone and climb up a tree and hang there for three months until the digestion happens what kind of creature without legs cannot run with the laser speed of a cheetah does not have the ability to dig holes yet every other most animals including especially human beings fear it more than that there are people who will run away you will run away from a dog even if he wants to bark you you'll be bold and you'll fight it but once you see that creature no legs it does not even have many points where it can sting only a, a small projection and yet you run away so what is it what attitude it's afraid of you but it gives you an impression that it will not run away from you be wise that means even when you are threatened by something in the presence of cosmos you never show fear you return to your secret place that's where you say lord behold your threatenings and grant your servant that through your holy hands and you don't cry before them you stand strong and stand bold you can now cry before the lord lord this person is using divination clearly and he has vowed to destroy me i have defended you standing in truth protect your name upon my life and then the bible says the holy ghost fell upon them they were filled with faith and courage again and you return back to the office and god takes responsibility for your defending his name be wise as serpents is someone learning we need to bring this balance in church 
there are people who during office hours the most productive period they just hold their hands and they start praying they are praying and shouting whereas the company is losing millions and thousands of naira and dollars and they will sack you and throw you away you have ignored the wisdom of the shepherd there are prophetic intercessors you are in the temple oh honor the prophetess so any time is valid pray without restraint and roll on the ground but now when you are a sheep among wolves you have to study how wolves behave this is not compromise this is adaptation let's wrap up is it three o'clock am i right on that oh dear okay the last group the last strategy Haggai chapter 1 from verse 4 these are called kingdom financiers please listen I'm revealing to you the tripartite formation of the end time army the first group prophetic intercessors the second group the sent ones the ones who will directly invade cosmos and institutionalize the consciousness of God in the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities but the third they are called kingdom financiers Haggai 1 4 to 8 is it time for you O ye to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts consider your ways ye have sown much listen and bring in little ye eat but have not enough ye drink but are not filled with drinks ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes seven thus saith the Lord consider your ways he said go up the mountain and bring wood and build the house and i will take pleasure in it and i will be glorified keep that scripture there don't assume you've read it let's look at it carefully the first instruction is not to bring wood it tells you where the wood is found where is it found up the mountain do you find wood on the mountain you find wood in the forest but he says this kind of wood you have to enter a system where exchange happens the mountain is not only the place of buying and selling remember when exchange was going to happen between satan and jesus he took jesus up the mountain into in fact and said let's exchange there so he's saying for this group of people you want to bring the wood that builds my house master the art of going up the mountain he says don't return empty-handed you are going there with an anointing you are going there with products and services you are going there with creativity mountains represent spheres of influence he says go up the mountain there is a particular mountain where you find wood he says bring wood from there use that wood you have brought to build me a house and I will be glorified listen this is a prophetic word for someone here you may not even know what has driven your passion for financial prosperity you have prayed prayed and repented and felt guilty because people have made you feel that this is my passion for money is it that i'm obsessed is it carnality i'm interpreting it for you it is the burden of a financial apostle there is something upon your life looking for you and he's saying go up the wood apostle you don't know how many times i've failed in business don't worry you didn't attend this program that's why now that you are here when he tells you go up the mountain and bring wood it means you did not go empty-handed there must be something you carried that will help you to fell that wood and to bring it down and then to come and use it to build a house go up the mountain for someone you have been ignoring this instruction that's why all the resources that is supposed to have funded the work of God that's why pastors today have stopped the work of preaching and are begging around for money why because somebody has refused to do his assignment if somebody had gone up the mountain to bring wood 
you can say pastor i'm overriding this this budget for one year let's focus on the ministry of the word and prayer let there be no limitation whatsoever without bragging and making noise many people accuse pastors of financial compromises on one hand i blame them but on another hand they are doing the assignment of someone who has failed is someone hearing for some of you that's why god brought you to abuja you are now in the mountain but you have refused to learn the art of cutting that wood the house of god has not been built the program of god has not been advanced and there are others who went up the mountain and brought wood and ran away from the house of god they received the empowerment to rise up the mountain and because they were not mentored they just believed that every man of god is fake who talks about money believers must be mentored to understand the purpose of the kingdom well god has given them that god empowers us for three principal reasons number one to live a comfortable life number two to provide financial resources for kingdom advance it's not a favor it is a responsibility for every witness who understands god's program and who loves him sincerely it should not be something that happens at a special moment it should be part of the mentorship construct of every witness in islam they are taught by default the wealthy people know that as God blesses you, whether you are a serious Muslim or not, there, is, there has to be a portion of your resources for the propagation. And, 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 and with respect to that agenda, that is a beautiful understanding. Let me tell you the truth. The kind of wealthy believers we have in this city, in this nation, the body of Christ should not have any reason to be in want believe me i know what i'm saying now it doesn't mean to sit down and keep claiming people's things we must take responsibility but the key is to educate and enlighten believers to understand that as god blesses you listen this is all of you how much how many foods can you eat how many cars can you drive god cannot be giving you a billion dollars just for yourself you are smarter than that how much will you spend in your lifetime if you travel every day how many nations are in the world there must be an agenda bigger than that when he gave you the gold from egypt is because you will build him the house in the wilderness never forget the purpose of the gold. you can use the gold to do two things to build an image and say this god brought me out of egypt or to build the house of the lord whether it's for god or satan you will build an image eventually whether an image of a god or an image of Jesus Christ for some of you here I know you are prayer warriors for some of you here you have received prophetic words from the man of God laboring now I'm God sees my heart I'm teaching you truth from the word there are many of you here it is possible that none of you has come with a seed I'm not talking of you are in trouble and you want to tap to come out that's different Because there are many believers who, once you see piles of seeds, it is because they are coming to negotiate. And there is a place for that. But I mean maturity, spiritual maturity to know that this is part of the blessings of the Lord. That from January till now, the Lord opened doors for me 200 million, 300 million. And you take something and bring to the man of God. I honor you as my prophet and I honor you for the grace of God. I see it as a responsibility to see that you are never in want while you feed me as a kingdom responsibility not coercion not manipulation are we together yes I made up my mind from when koinonia started and even until now I prayed and I said Lord give me the privilege to be the highest giver for many years in this ministry I, I stand by the God of heaven and I'm telling you this. Kingdom financiers, go up the mountain, bring wood, build God a house. There are people today who have been able to raise. When I got to find out how much 
money went in circulation during the election period primaries and the rest I just said oh dear Lord God of heaven how many churches how many mission agencies how many platforms that can mentor and build and bless people I said Lord there has to be a strategy out of this thing please empower those who love you and know you and have the integrity to walk in truth and righteousness but there are people some of you have failed in your assignment that's why it looks like we are limited God is calling you by this program it's time to go up the mountain go up the mountain is not to hustle go up the mountain is not to carnally move just trying to make sure you make money anyhow you will end up in jail if you take that so that way remember the Lord of the harvest again back to him to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise for some of you you will need to find a financial mentor with proven track records to guide you and help you and show you some of you will need to unlock the potentials from within your spirit and come up with superior products and services yesterday when I was done teaching our school of ministry students one lady walked up to me she now sells jewelries I met her last year when I went to preach for a redeemed church and she told me that she had this vision and she kept seeing the 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel 12 you know topaz all those stones and from that she kept praying I told her to keep praying until God speaks to her and in the place of prayer she had the idea to start a jewelry business she now brought all the 12 stones she's converted all of them now to superior jewelry she runs a jewelry store I looked at it it was so beautiful pure gold pure the 12 stones you know she had converted it into a business I just lifted one that looked like I'll throw it up I said how much is this when she told me the amount I wanted to say I was almost saying back to sender for what this this thing I mean women you know what I'm talking about I mean you just pick that thing I won't tell you how much but ah that's an amount that um, you need faith to even hear but then I was praying for her and she just came to show me to say that which I saw it has become this now it is now she's ready for the anointing for favor are you seeing now she's ready for the anointing for visibility now I can pray and the anointing can find a place because she's expanded and prepared vessels and oh dear did I pray I prayed with all my heart Lord open the gates of the nations for her she now deals directly with Dubai some of these guys that make it for her and you know has customized her own collection tomorrow this lady will dress kings and will bring the money and remember and say it was you I came to meet the person who brings the child is the person who brings back the child to if he dies so don't run away from the prophet just because you have a child remember something can happen to the child if you lose your relationship with Elisha Gehazi may even though he holds the rod of Elisha he may not be able to bring the child back the one who prophesied the arrival of the child be wise enough to maintain that relationship so that the day something happens you can still return is someone learning this is already a prophetic word for someone there are many in the body of Christ who receive prophetic words men of God will pray pray and fast upon them as God blesses them and that child is born off they go they run away they are sarcastic they they talk and act as if men of God are a nuisance and then the day the child dies Gehazis will come holding a rod it may even be Elisha's rod and you will be surprised because it was not about the rod it was about the state of the heart and the covenant with God are we together now watch this for these three categories of people more than your physical preparation when you understand your place whether as a kingdom financier as one who enters the system as a sent one or one who funds the efficiency of that army or all it is possible to have all the tripartite assignments are we together now yes 
according to Matthew 25 God can take away the talent of an inefficient person and add it to one who multiplied it well so it is possible to start out just as an evangelist and be surprised that 10 years into your ministry the assignment of a kingdom financier has been added because someone failed and his bishopric cannot be left like that there are many people today who you will see transitions in their mode of operation in ministry their faithfulness has earned them the right to carry other spiritual responsibilities for all of the categories you will need empowerment this is where we find a resting place and even to pray spiritual empowerment and impartation is a very deep mystery most people have not understood it unfortunately unfortunately most people have not understood the mystery of impartation you call this a miracle service this you will receive in the name of jesus isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8 isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8 the lord sent a word to jacob say jacob and it lighted upon israel say israel so jacob is a person but israel is a nation that every time god intends to reach israel his strategy is to find jacob and reveal that which he intends to communicate to israel and even deposit the investment of that grace upon jacob so every time you see jacob anointed begin to rejoice because it's only the starting point not the finishing point of that anointing remember psalm 133 the oil starts from the head of aaron but it does not remain in the head it flows to everyone aligned and connected how many of you have stood before the shower do you lift your leg to be above the shower your head is the only part that needs to be there and the body is patient and happy in advance why because the water from the head will reach even under your feet once the leg removes itself and detaches itself from that organism you can be sure that you cannot bath is that true but the whole body stands but there has to be only one part of the body directly facing the shower and yet the intention is to bath the whole body as it flows from the head the entire body is rejoicing and everybody waiting for their turn with joy and you will receive so much abundance the water will even be flowing no part of the body can retain the water because of the abundance the head is lavish enough so you don't fight because you see it on the head and the hand is saying i'm the one who put on the shower just be patient from the head it gets down can I tell you that grace God has put upon your man of God that grace God has put upon us by the election of grace the days of superstar Christianity is coming to an end I tell you sincerely as ministers of the gospel we must be responsible enough to understand the purpose of the anointing it's not just for yes thank God for the honor that follows the call but let me tell you more than that there is an assignment that we must not forget the oil on your head will not serve you much until it flows to the body so as we stay in the place of prayer as God continues to invest that grace upon us we run back to the body and say as privileged stewards we have received this and such as we have freely we give so that the body will now be efficient this is one of the things that I've come to do tonight the Bible says in the parable of the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish. The suggestion of the bridegroom, he said, go to them that sell and buy. Not everyone is in want. There are those that sell. You don't buy it with money. You buy it with honor. You buy it with discernment. You buy it with meekness. You buy it with recognition. But there are them that sell. Believe me. When you are struggling in any area of your life, you don't have to die there. Check the body of Christ with discernment. There are those that sell. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye